No, you can call me on sub one. Pardon me? On sub one. Okay. Yeah. What's your dead name? I'm sorry, what's my what? Your dead name. Dead name? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's a dead name? I'm just trying to be respectful to you. I, I don't know what that term means. What, what pronouns do you go by? What? So, are you issuing me with a trespass? Are you... Are you issu issuing me with a trespass notice? Are you issuing me with a trespass notice right now? But you're telling me if I don't leave, you are going to take me into custody. I have authority to do that. Are you cold? Do you want to sit in the back of my vehicle to warm up? Like, how many cops do we need for someone who is doing a constitutionally protected activity on property that all of us jointly own? owners of the property. For what? Why are they excluding me? What is the cause for them to exclude me? They don't me? want you filming I have implied, the property. But that's not, that's not a criminal code offense. That's no, not a provincial not offense. It's not even a, a, a city offense. So this is, they have deemed that they don't want that behavior on this property. Well, they can't do it. They okay. can't do it. What I'm saying is... Yeah. Hey, so okay, have, give, me a t give me a TPA. So give me a TPA. Well, I don't want to. Well, but uh, I need standing to take this to court. I am not leaving until you cut me a citation you for trespass. Issue a complaint. The problem was with the loitering and making What's people, loitering? Like sitting here just filming people. You're not here to use the transit system. You're here to film people. Because people caught feels, I'm being barred from this facility. I shouldn't have to be threatened with trespass because I'm covering a story about public funds being used to discriminate against the unwell or unhoused. So okay. this is a trespassing ticket. Okay, okay. don't two one B of the TPA, okay? Okay, perfect. Can you explain the options on the back or no no no, I, this is fine. So this is a part one uh, offense, right? It is, yeah. Yeah. Continue advocating for the homeless. I'm being penalized for doing it. Not great, not a good look. But Hi, this is security guard at uh, the St. Catherine's Bus Terminal, 70 Carlisle Street. I am calling to ask for a unit to remove an unwanted female. Two eight nine. David. David. Uh, she's currently reporting on property. Um, I asked her to leave. She refused to leave. And just that. Okay. No. On platform P, the entrance to uh, Academy and Center Street. Caucasian female, about 5'7", roughly um, above average build. Uh, from estimation, about 30 years, roughly in that area. Uh, just a black, looks like a black walker. Just walk. So uh, this will be outside of microphone pickup range, so I'll uh, provide context in a little bit. No, um, center and academy. Cool. Bye. All right, and a piece of phone call. So from there, you've been warned, as soon as they come here, you're gonna have a trespass notice filed against you. That is, as per terminal policy, you'd be trespassed for one month. 
when you come back you will be removed immediately and if you don't agree or leave immediately you will be um, removed by NRP. Do you understand? I'll take that silence as you understood. Alright. You have a good day. I'll be right back with your trespass notice. So what you just saw there was um, uh, the, the local security here at the Niagara Regional uh, uh, Transit Commission, um, St. Catharines Bus Terminal, their security guard just called the police on me for filming. Uh, unfortunately, the first uh, three to five minutes of the encounter wasn't recorded. I actually did hit the record button, but <clears throat> because it is exceptionally cold and maybe there's just not enough uh, warmth or heat in my fingers, it didn't actually record. The uh, early part uh, was quite contentious. I asked the security guard for his name. He just kept pointing to his chest saying right here, right here, right here. Um, he indicated that again, this is private property. Uh, it is not, it is public property. It's publicly accessible property. It's both. Um, he indicated that uh, there is a bylaw inside. He invited me inside to go and inspect. Uh, I'm not gonna go inside. Uh, I don't need to inspect. Uh, you saw him call the police. The police may show up. Uh, they did three weeks ago. I suspect that they will again. Uh, last time I, this, I, I, this encounter took place, uh, it took the police about 30 minutes, uh, 35 minutes to show up. So I suspect that um, depending on what type of day it is today, it'll probably take up about the same. Uh, the police don't necessarily prioritize um, silly things like uh, a person with a camera um, committing the offense of using a camera, I suspect. Anyway, so that's what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm going to uh, basically not speak to the security guard. I'm going to remain calm. So the police have just shown up. Uh, we'll just, uh, let's just play it quiet. Let's play it cool as always. Um, I'm gonna see if they're gonna uh, attempt to abridge my civil liberties by trespassing me from a place that receives public funding and is otherwise publicly accessible, uh, having committed no disorderly conduct. Good yourself? Good. Can I get your first name, please? Oh, Chris. Thank you. Hi, Chris. What's your name? I'm not going to identify myself at this time. Why is that? I don't need to. I don't need to. I don't need to identify unless I've done something that's licensable. I'm committed to the process of committing a licensable activity in the province of Ontario. You should know that, Chris. Come on. You're on property that's owned by the city? It's actually owned by the regional municipality of Niagara. Okay. Well, he works for the commissioner. He's a so privately con. Yeah. He can't though, because I am on publicly accessible property, owned by a public organization, and I've committed no provincial or criminal code offense. So why is it that you're? I'm working on a project. Uh, it's actually spun off onto another project unto itself. Three weeks ago, I came here filming um, a segment for a video that's just talking about hostile architecture. I'm not going to get into what that means right now. 
Three weeks ago, a different security guard um, attempted to violate my rights. The officer that showed up, um, I don't recall his name, but was very professional and uh, recognized that I can't be trespassed. Or, I mean, we could keep playing the spin around game, but I'm more than happy to. I don't know, I don't understand the need why you think you need to uh, A, identify me and B, potentially trespass me, abridging my civil liberties. All of this expressed before. What was the end last time when you were here in the last three? Yeah. Was your trespass notice? I was not. Sorry if you guys got dizzy there. Chris likes to play the spin around game. Police will do this quite often to get off camera as quickly as possible. So how long do you propose you're gonna be uh, staying here? Probably a half an hour. I was in the middle of recording my uh, my segment um, when you interrupted me. Half an hour, an hour? I'm not sure. It depends. He keeps interrupting me, and now I have you. I appreciate you're doing a job. You don't want to be here. But as long as you guys keep interrupting me, it's just going to drag it out longer and longer. Now, I heard you guys talk about loitering. So are you aware of the St. Catharines bylaw on loitering? I am. I'm also aware of that. Absolutely. And how have I how have I threatened this well being or safety of anybody here? And I'm not I'm not sure how that impacts me. What are their rights? Can you point can you point that out to what what, what maybe either you, well, you, 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 there's no such thing as a re you, you have no reasonable expectation of privacy in public. That's, I mean, the Ontario Court of Appeals have upheld that, and the Supreme Court of Canada a number of times have upheld that. So I don't know what you think you can do to abridge my civil liberties because their feelings are hurt. There's no such thing as my feelings dictate where your charter begins and ends. You see what I'm saying? So you can't trespass me because someone doesn't like to be filmed, right? I mean, if you want, we can be both on camera if you want. And this is... What? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, okay, let's be on camera, yeah. Uh, and it'll work better for the mic pickups. So, I mean, the last officer who I spoke to came out he and I had a conversation just over there, feet from where we are now, and he himself pointed out that nobody has a reasonable expectation of privacy in public. I can't go into your house, that's private. I can't go into a bathroom, because people would have a reasonable expectation for privacy in a, in a change room in a bathroom. But when we are standing on a sidewalk, when we are standing on property that is owned by the region. The loitering aspect, right? You know, how much time do you be staying here? I mean, the purpose of, of being here obviously is to obtain and receive uh, public transportation. That's a primary focus, yeah. Right. So, I mean, people don't normally stand here in one spot and, and audio and video record other people. Uh -huh. Then we're, we're falling into uh, the rules and regulations that we may have uh, for loitering. So, loitering well, I, I'm. So, there, there's no provincial offense for loitering and there's no criminal code in 2019. The criminal code, I know, it's a bylaw for the city of St. Catharines. 2000. So unfortunately, I have two mics on. I have one a mic pack that I'm wearing, and I also have a shotgun mic above my camera. Uh, unfortunately, because it's so loud here, there are literally uh, six, seven, six buses here. So the uh, shotgun mic is probably not gonna pick up anything at this point.
down, Mandy. I told you. Benny. Bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! Uh, it was work, I just have to take the call. I'm sorry? It was work, I just have to take the call. That's fine. Uh, and just to let you know, the bylaw uh, offense for loitering is 2007-295. So feel free to include that on, on any information you swear out or on a bylaw notice that you issue. Hi. Hi. I don't identify. No, you can call me on sub one. Pardon me? On sub one. Okay. Yeah. What's your dead name? I'm sorry, what's my what? Your dead name. Dead name? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's a dead name? I'm just trying to be respectful to you. I, I don't know what that term means. What, what pronouns do you go by? Why does that matter? Because I'm trying to be respectful to you. Okay, well, you can be respectful by not interrupting me while I'm at work. I feel like you're being super judgy, like I'm getting a real anti-me vibe off of you. Are you? Oh my god, there I was again. Yeah, I saw it. And that's hurtful. Okay, <laughs> I'm like really good at surviving. I carry a can of mace with me everywhere I go. Okay, yeah. so do you know why we're here? I don't, know. So you... Uh, yeah, we're gonna need space, right? We're gonna need some space. I mean, I'm surprised I wasn't trained. Like, it's distance is safety, right? Yeah, that's, I mean, basic policing 101. I can I know, everybody's new, everybody has a first day. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hold it against you. Okay. So do you know why we're here? I don't, I, he's the reporting party, so you have to speak to him. Right, so is there a reason that Stay away from me. Right yes, for my safety. Because you keep approaching me. That's fine, and? I don't. Okay. I don't. I, this is, this, hey, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. I'm gonna run this. Okay, you, you can speak. Okay, doggy. Okay, I don't want to do that. To do that, I have to be on private property. This isn't private property. Again, we're going back to that, this is your first day. I, I appreciate everybody has a first day on the job. So this is, this is first week, that's fine. So this is public property, as you should. You've been directed by security, so when This is, I'm, you, you were offended when I cut you off, and now you're cutting me off. This is public property. It received $55 million from the region last year. It's set to receive the same this year. I am recording a segment here about hostile architecture. You're interrupting me. They don't want me here because they don't want people to know what this commission is doing. That's why you're here. I appreciate you are uh, a sheep and just following orders, but I'm here. I'm not rising to the level of disco. I've committed no provincial or federal offense. So I'm gonna remain here. Yeah, trespass. But I have implied right of access to be here. Wow. Can you get her away from me? Okay, all right. So when I get up real close to you, you're gonna appreciate it. I know, I know, I, I know, you don't care. So, are you issuing me with a trespass? Are you Are you issu issuing me with a trespass notice? Are you issuing me with a trespass notice right now? I'm not issuing a trespass notice. That would But you're telling me if I don't leave, you are going to take me into custody. I have authority to do that. 
Okay, that's all. Now you just gave me standing. So you gave me standing to sue the NRTC and to include you, Niagara Region Transit Commission. Again, that first week, don't worry, you'll get there. So you've given me standing to sue them and to name you as a party to that action. So I appreciate that. So what I'll do is when they serve me the notice, I will leave. I'll just take it up with the Superior Court of Justice. Thank you very much. I know, I know, I know. Sure. I get hostile when idiot police officers try to abridge my civil liberties. I get hostile when idiot law enforcement try to abridge my civil liberties because they had six months of training. So it's a very slow uh, police day. There are, let's take a look. There are one, two, and three police officers here. officially trespassed. Here is your notice. You're trespassed for one month and you're able to return January 17. Thank you. This will be a quick up and down settlement with the Niagara Regional Transit Commission. Unfortunately, it comes at the cost of all these resources and taxpayer money. I mean, it's going to be a quick settlement for unlawful trespass to property. So that'll be interesting. I'm going. Since I know you're not willing to identify David, I'm gonna need your uh, caller number. Sorry? Your caller number, your badge number. Yeah. 9853. 9853. Uh, Chris, can I get yours? 9580. 9580, and yours? Okay, fine. I'll scoop it off the video later. I'm not identifying. You guys will be named in a OIPRD complaint anyway, so it's fine. Yeah. 
<laughs> they can be submitted anonymously, so thank you. I'm surprised you didn't, you didn't get that training in your six weeks worth of academy work. Yeah, that, that will be, yeah, that's public. So yeah, you can get it then. All right, cheers. Will you take care? Absolutely. So if I, I just want to make it, so this, because this is going to go straight to my lawyer. If I don't leave now, the hobbit over here is going to take me into custody, correct? Yes, we're dealing with you with respect. Uh, she was not, she was not respectful. When she kept talking about, oh, what's your dead name? What's your, that's not respectful. She knew exactly what she was doing, disingenuous. I appreciate that there are some police officers that are bigoted, not identical. Um, I have no reason to accuse you two. She was doing that deliberately, disingenuously, but uh, she wasn't respectful when she approached me. So that's why I'm gonna treat her with the same courtesy she attempted to treat with me with in the beginning. So that's why I decided to identify her as such. So if I don't leave now, you're going to take me into custody, correct? No. No, then what, what, what are we doing here then? Okay, so if you don't leave now, you were told that, you, you told this officer, the officer's here while I was speaking. The guard, yes. yes. While I was speaking with the commissioner. Uh -huh. I was researching the legislation, so yeah. verbatim I could come and present it to you so you could have a... 2007, 295, or trespass of property to 21A? The one that pertains to this property right here. Yeah. What did they have? Yeah. While I was in the process of doing that, getting that legislation to bring it to you to read, the officer came to us and said that you had agreed to leave and you provided with a trespass notice. Mm -hmm. So we were researching the legislation. Mm -hmm. We had yet to find it. Mm -hmm. We came back with the trespass notice mm -hmm. because you said you would agree to leave to issue the trespass notice. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're here. Uh -huh. You're asking us to cite the legislation. No, no, I'm not asking you to cite any legislation. I just want to, it's either yes, no answer. Literally, that's it. That no if I don't leave right now. I'm going to go back with the commissioner. I'm going to find the legislation I was looking for. Okay. And I'm going to come back with it, present it to you, and then we'll take a step further. Okay, yeah, that's, I would like to know what act, or it's not even an act, it's a provincial bylaw, or a regional bylaw. I'd like to know what regional bylaw you're citing. Because, I mean, the only one is loitering, that's 2007, 295. I've read it. The city's looking into it to see if they can strike out loitering because it's a ridiculous, ableist bylaw. So feel free to go get the regional bylaw that you're magically quoting. Again, it's ironic because... No, no, but you're saying it exists. I'm not suggesting you told me a, a name or a number, but you're suggesting some bylaw prevents me from filming on this location short of committing any other offense. You can't remove me from this property without an underlying reason. I'm committing disorderly, I'm intoxicated, something along those lines. I'm none of those. I'm here filming. The region doesn't like me filming because I'm pointing out some of their oversights in the way they're designing their uh, facilities. They don't like it, so they've directed this guy to scurry me off the property. So that's what I want to know. So that way I can take it to Jim Bradley. I can take it to the uh, Matt Cisco, and we can address it that way because I don't think there is anything that can pro uh, prohibit me from filming because a regional bylaw cannot usurp or abridge the charter. Flat out, full stop. So if you're suggesting the region can trespass me for filming, I would just love that bylaw. And then I want you to cite it on some sort of trespass the property saying, we're trespassing you because you're filming. That way I can name these folks, the commissioners, Niagara Regional Police, in some lawsuit later. So why is it you agree that you will leave if you should be trespassed? Because I thought you were going to, if failing that, you're going to arrest me. She said it earlier that if you don't leave after you get this, she's going to book me for failing to ID or to failure to leave. So, I mean, come on, get, get together, have a little scrum, get together, figure out the plan, get that bylaw, Give it to me, that way I can deal with it in court. It's easy. Having worked for the Ministry of the Attorney General for a very long time, it's something that I can sort out quite quickly. I just want that Maybe bylaw. Right now, no because I'm working for a different ministry for the province of Ontario. So does that satiate your curiosity? Not all of it. Okay, well, I mean, what else, short of identifying, what else can I answer for you? 
provider at this point in time. And because you know, I, yeah, right, because you know, you, I, I respect it. You seem to be straddling the line, but you're staying definitely on this, the, the correct side of it right now. So I appreciate your effort. I also appreciate the officer last uh, three weeks ago who also identified the fact that I was allowed to do this, who didn't force me to leave. I told him I was done for the day and I left. That's how that ended amicably. And I even noted on my posts that the Niagara Regional Police did the right thing on the 2nd of December. But suddenly, what the hell happened since then? You guys are trying to scare me off. She's trying to use some crazy transphobic jargon no to be disrespectful. Here. What? There's no scare tactics here. Why are we trying to scare you? She told me she was gonna she was gonna charge me with trespass of property, failure to ID if I didn't identify. It said under the trespass of property. Yes. Continue. Okay, so sorry to interrupt. So clearly you are not leaving because you haven't served this. Yeah, I mean... So you're not leaving until you provide with the legislation, is that correct? Yeah, because th th this is nothing. Yeah, well, and once you say that, once I hear those magic words, if you do not leave, we will charge you or book you or detain you or arrest you, then I will be more than happy to leave. I'm not trying to rise to the level of disco. I don't want to pick up some other charges. I just need standing in a court. Right now, this falls short of standing in a court because the minute I take this to my lawyer, the minute I take this to the Superior Court of Justice before a judge or uh, 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 a justice, they're gonna say, I mean, you're not identified. They didn't tell you they were gonna arrest you. Your rights were only kind of abridged. I want you guys to go full on and say, we're, because you're filming, which is a constitutionally protected activity, because you're filming, we are going to take you into custody. I just wanna hear those sweet magic words. That's it. Well, he said I can't film here, and that's what rose to the level of trespass. I'm filming here because of that. I'm being trespassed. So, I corrected you. I'm, I'm happy we got there. Go and research the commissioner here. We'll find the legislation that he was pointing out to me. We'll come back and produce it to you. Yep, great. And I mean, if you want to write it on here, that'd be great. I'll take it back once you guys write the regional bylaw number. Blah blah blah. We're gonna arrest you if you don't leave. We have standing now, we have cause to arrest you. I'll take it, I'll leave, problem over. And I'll just, I'll take it up. I've already been speaking with the comms coordinator for the Niagara Regional Transit Commission the last three weeks. She thought it was appalling what happened last week. And it was one-tenth of what's happening this time. And I have a number of police officers, I have very good relationships with the Niagara Regional Police. I'll just be able to take it up with, through them. If I don't get a good enough response, it'll be OIPRD. Not against you because, again, I don't have any issue. You're just here doing your job. Dropping some transphobic stuff is just nuts. This guy hasn't done or said anything, so I don't have an issue with him. I got an issue with this guy and with the way she's been circling me and just being straight up unprofessional. So, I mean, more than happy to get that bylaw. Why don't you guys tell me you're going to be arrested if you don't leave? Uh, just for the record, I didn't hear any transphobic stuff. So are you doing uh, 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 no. You can call me on sub one. In front of me? On sub one. Okay. Yeah. What's your dead name? I'm sorry, what's my what? Your dead name. Dead name? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's a dead name? I'm just trying to be respectful to you. I, I don't know what that term means. What, what pronouns do you go by? What? I'm, I'm more than happy. What I'll do is I'll, I'll reach out to the equity unit with the Niagara Regional Police. I know Gal Mohammed very well. I'll reach out to him. I'll send you a little snippet plus the whole video. You can see her saying, what is your dead name? What is your dead name? Do you know, I, I get that you've never been trained on it. Mohammed. I don't want to visit that conversation if it did take place. I'm just saying I didn't witness it. Yeah, it's fine. Your video not recording it, so. Yeah, you can call me on sub one. Unsub one. Okay. Yeah. What's your dead name? I'm sorry, what's my what? Your dead name. Dead name? What does that mean? I don't know what that means. What's a dead name? I'm just trying to be respectful to you. I, I don't know what that term means. What, what pronouns do you go by? What? Yeah, but that doesn't, you not witnessing it doesn't mean it didn't happen. And it doesn't mean that my, uh, that I can't be offended by it. I, I realize that. I am allowed to be offended by something you didn't personally witness. 
by one of your subordinates, because I suspect that you've been around for slightly longer than this lady and slightly longer than this gentleman. I take it that you're in command on this particular call. One of your subordinates was extremely disrespectful. Well, that's fine. That's fine then. One of your colleagues was extremely disrespectful, intentionally and disingenuously was using terms that are offensive to get a rise out of me. And now you're being offended because I'm getting a rise out of it. She's the one who triggered it. Well, then ask her to stand on the other side. I don't have a problem with this guy. If she wants to go stand over there, watch his back. That's fine. He's done nothing or said nothing to me. Have him watch me while you do whatever you got to do. Yeah, that's fine. Hey, how's this going? Is it's it good. Rusty or Rob? Rob. 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 Yeah. I, I always confuse you two. I always confuse you I always confuse you two. I apologize. Don't no, worry no, about no, it. no offense. So, I mean, they probably read you in, right? Like, to the situation? The, from what I understand, the bus terminals asked you to stop recording. Yeah. And then they... That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's 100% correct. That's the, the, the beginning and end of it? That's the beginning and end of it. Okay, so what's the problem here? The problem is I'm being asked to leave. Like, I don't understand why. It's so not to re-litigate all of this because, I mean, I don't want to spend another 40 minutes reinventing the wheel, but I'm allowed to be here. Trespass the property does not apply. This is a public organization that receives $55 million a year from all of us to trespass me I have to be, there's a, first of all, there's a bunch of different requirements the Crown needs to establish to, to well, get it, to crown. secure it. I realize that. This is a corporation, uh, Transit Corporation. No, th this is run by the Niagara Region Transit Commission. Yeah. It's under a corporation, just like yeah. the city's under the corporation. Is it and it's a public organization, it's yeah. a public entity. So, I mean, I'm allowed to be here, I'm allowed to film. They can't abridge my right, short of me committing disco, uh, in being intoxicated, mischief, if I'm damaging uh, the property, then they can ask me to leave. But guess what? This organization, the City of St. Catharines, Niagara Region, can't abridge my civil liberties. because Just because they don't like me talking about their uh, hostile architecture, they can't say, you know what? We only want to look good. We're not going to allow you to film here. They can't do that. Look up Bracken v. Town of Fort Erie, 2017. Well established. Yeah. Come on. I, I don't know how, we never really talked when I was at Start Me Up. Yeah. But I know what I'm talking about. No, I know you have a I have a, background. Yes, I have my law license. I worked for them, uh, the MAG for a long while. I know what I'm talking about. If you guys want to tell me that if you don't leave right now, we're going to charge you a trespass, we're going to detain you, I'll leave. You don't need to detain you. I know, you're just gonna, you're just gonna cite me, is cite okay. and release. But if you guys wanna cite me, saying guess what, here's your, here's your uh, official uh, violation, your, your TPA violation, yep. I'll take it. That gives me standing to see you guys, the NRTC okay. and commissioners. That's fine. So, but I don't want that, you don't want that. I don't wanna cost taxpayers money. Like we already have, like there, but the other woman left, which is great. I talked to Gall, <laughs> he had a conversation with her real quick. He's going to have a follow-up conversation with her. Uh, but, I mean, like, how many cops do we need for someone who is doing a constitutionally protected activity on property that all of us jointly own? I know you say this is a private corporation, yep. but this isn't Walmart. This isn't Microsoft. No, it, is, it, is, it is a business. It is a business. It is a premise. It is, and, and the owners of the property... For what? Why are they excluding me? What is the cause for them to exclude me? I have implied, but that's not that's not a criminal code offense. That's no, not a provincial not offense. But it's not even a, a, a city offense. So this is, they have deemed that they don't want that behavior on this property. Well, they can't do it. They okay. can't do it. What I'm saying is, that, hey, so sk have, okay, give me a t give me a TPA. So give me a TPA. Well, I don't want to. Well, but uh, I need standing to take this to court. I am not leaving until you cut me a citation you for trespass. Issue a complaint. 
I don't have standing. It Com and it goes nowhere. I've already, it's first, it's not St. Catherine's Trans. It's not, I, I realize it's new. It's only about a year old. But I've already been talking to them. I've already talked to them for the last three weeks. I've been talking about this because this happened three weeks ago. And one of your colleagues drove up in an SUV, mm -hmm. said, this is ridiculous. You're fine to film. And he had a conversation with one of that guy's colleagues. And we all left and it was all merry and fine. Okay. But what the hell is going on with five cops now showing up? We don't know who we're showing up for. Right? I, I realize that, but you did. You knew who, you, by the time you as, got. No, no. When I showed up and then they said, you're standing out here. And as soon as I turned the corner, then I recognized you. Well, I'm, got, I, it's weird cars. that, I mean, and, but well, I mean. I'm, act, I'm the acting supervisor today. Oh, uh, okay. That's, that's awesome. All right. Because somebody, okay. somebody said that they wanted, you wanted to speak to a supervisor. I, well, I didn't need to speak to who. I want to speak to that guy's supervisor. I don't need okay. you guys. He's been acting fine. Okay. Like. Again, he was walking up to the line, but he never crossed it. Okay. Uh, so I was fine. You guys haven't done anything wrong yet. I specifically asked him earlier, whatever regional bylaw that they were talking about or municipal bylaw they were talking about, I want it on paper because nobody could find it. When I spoke to the city clerk for the city of St. Catharines and the regional clerk uh, at Niagara Region, they can't find anything that prohibits this because you can't, you can't prohibit me from filming. If I go to City Hall right now, St. Catherine City Hall, right now stand on the front lawn yep. and I'll dance around, yeah. I can film all I want there. It's no different than here. Now, if I was walking up to someone and threatening them or getting in their personal space or damaging their property, then they can TPA my ass, charge me with mischief, there's other, there's other disco. Things. People can be trespassing from, from, a, from an area for numerous reasons. Okay. Now, if they for have, filming, well, I don't know if they have. This is there. Charter Two A, uh, sorry, Two B material. This is Two B all the way. Okay. So if you want to like charge me, if you guys want to give me a TPA and say we're gonna we're gonna we don't like you filming, or sorry, we're just following the rules of some private corporation, not a private corporation, but if you want to pretend that's a private corporation that they re they don't receive any of our tax no, money through a special levy, fair, fair yeah, a considerable yeah. amount. Like a third of what you guys get, that's a lot. Okay. So, I'm not leaving until I get a, t a you TPA. Will find out where his direction came from. Yeah, that's great. And by the way, I called the commissioners three weeks ago. They have no idea what the fuck these guys okay. are talking about on location. Okay. So they we'll were surprised. Now, mind you, I wasn't talking to his direct supervisor. We'll find out from, from the security where they're getting their direction. Mm -hmm. If their direction comes from the property owner who he's acting under the behalf of, mm -hmm. then we're going to ask you to leave. I'm not leaving until I get a TPA. You already know my name, so no point in not identifying. I'm more than happy to identify for your citation. So, because I need standing in a court, I'll take it to court. Okay. I know the provincial crown. No, no, I'll I take it to Wellin. I I'll fight it. What you're trying to do? Here. Yeah, I want standing. Yeah, I want okay. standing in court. And right now, I don't have standing. I could file OIPRD. I can file a complaint with the NRTC, which will go nowhere. The city of St. Catharines has no involvement, so they're not going to do shit. So, so you I, want to appear before a justice in peace? Yeah, absolutely. Which, by the way, having worked for the MEG for as long as I do, I know most of them personally, yeah. both in St. Catharines and in Welland. So I, I, I'm more than happy to pick up a charge because it'll get tossed before it even goes to the first Crown Prix trial. So, I mean, let's. Okay. what are we doing here? Like, Jesus Christ, I've been... <laughs> Rob, like, what is going on, man? I, I, I'm a supervisor, he's asked to come... I know, I, you both are doing a job. Yeah. You don't want to be here, you'd rather be in your either cruiser warm or in, back at uh, St. Catharines. anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, so. But not, you don't want to spend time with me? <laughs> I like you. I know. I saw you on the I bridge. I liked, your, I liked your sign mm -hmm. that you had it on the bridge. Yeah. And I mean, so stop and say, I oh. saw you a while ago in the, the uh, Avondale. We were just chilling. Yeah. You were buying some like stuff, right? So I mean, we have a good relationship. I, I realize I my advocacy for the homeless, not the taste for everybody. That's what I'm doing here, so by the way. You know, that's my taste, right? I know. That's what you. Yeah. That's why, man. You Do you know what? More in front of the camera? Well, no. But what <laughs> I'm what I'm doing is you no, see these. Yeah, the, this the, is hostile architecture, yeah. right? You know why they do it? Yeah. Because they can't lay down. because they can't lay down. What about someone who's unwell? Let's put out the unhoused, which is classist. But let's say someone who's unwell, yep. they have high blood pressure, they need to chill. Sure, sitting down will help, but sometimes you just gotta lay down, right? They can't, they yep. can't do that. Those new benches over there, I mean, I'm big, 
So that'll hold one in me, but otherwise in a regular adult, you'll be able to get an adult and a half on one of those. Yeah. It's, it's ableist, it's classist, it's not cool. Yeah. The, the, and it's not, now I get, they, they don't want homeless people lingering around and staying here, but you know what? When this place is in an operation, why not let's have at it? It's gonna be a mess regardless. They're gonna to have to clean it up regardless. And it's only gonna get worse. Yeah. It's only get, with the cost of living, the housing, it's just gonna get, it's yeah. gonna get a lot worse in this city. Unfortunately, you guys get the brunt of it because you're front facing. Yeah. So, uh, you know, but. So we need people advocating for Niagara Region Transit, they don't want me here because I'm talking about this. That's it. Uh, the only reason I'm doing it is because people bitch when I don't move the camera. You want, but, a, you want a forum in which to voice your concerns? Absolutely, and I can't that. take this to court because I'm already working with the city very early stages to get that loitering bylaw revised. It's already with the legal services at St. Catharines, 2007, 295, which is the bylaw. That's ridiculous, it's outmoded, it's Elizabethan. It's already been tossed out by the Supreme Court, but it's one of these dead letter laws that just hangs in there. So I'm working to get it struck. So we can't pick me up with loitering because I have a purpose, this is the purpose. Yeah. I have a destination. I've ever laid, laid a loitering bylaw. No, and the, anyway. when I spoke to the city clerk, it doesn't have a set fine, meaning it's so rare that nobody's ever set a fine yeah. for it. And they don't have a record. They can't go that far back to find when someone's in charge with vagrancy. Did Gaul give you my name? Did Gaul give you my name? Gal Mohammed, Constable Gal, Gal Mohammed. Okay, he spoke to one of the officers. I didn't know if it was you or not. Okay. Sorry. What is my name? It's Sabrina. So Sabrina. Yeah. It wasn't the filming itself that was the problem. Okay. The problem was you were filming people who don't want to be filmed. But Rob, you know that's not a that's that's not a thing. The officer I spoke to last it is week. A thing. I, it's I, not. It's not a thing. So Nobody has a reasonable expectation of privacy in public. I know they don't. Okay. So that, that you, we can't lock. But, we, we can't charge me with that. Okay. They can't. Tr they can't uh, trespass me for that. They can't. But they don't want you on the property doing. It. But they. They. They can't. It's so not, they can't. You, they can't prohibit me from doing that. You were bothering people. Okay. Let's get. Let's get some so, names. So I want so some names. I can give you another example of sure. the time that you were filming people yeah. in front of Start Me Up, yeah. and they became upset with you filming. They weren't upset by me filming. They were upset by the three officers that were there no, rousting no, them. They were upset. They actually told you because to stop effing filming. Do you want to know why they told me that? Because I was making you guys angry, and they were worried that they were going to be I, brought I, up in I, this. I was there. I know you were there, okay. and there were other officers who weren't. No, rusty, it and it, me, uh, rusty, rusty and then a, a third. I don't remember. I think it was just me and Rusty. There was three. Okay. And then actually two more showed up later. They didn't well, get out of their cars. Time. But the time yeah. I remember, people were actually upset Be at you for filming. And I don't film unhoused people unless they give me explicit permission because okay. well, it those stigmatizes people, them. Those people didn't, and they told you to F off. Okay. And? And you did. Okay. So yeah, because I don't film unhoused people. So saying, I made, I made an overt gesture to turn my camera away. You, I'm just giving you an example of, when, yeah. of another time when you were filming mm -hmm. that was unwanted. Okay. Yeah. So here's another time you're. Filming. And that was City of St. Catharines property. So how come yeah. I wasn't picked up with trespassing or? Because I didn't want to trespass. But because you couldn't. I was on. I was okay. on. You, you know what? It's I like mean, me standing on a sidewalk. You can't the, pick me up thing. on trespass. Sometimes people don't like having the cameras pointed at them. Most people don't like ha having a camera pointed yeah. at them. Yeah. You guys are probably uncomfortable so, with it, but you're dealing with it. The people that were getting off the bus just weren't as curt with you as the people that were at in front of Starfleet. Right? Yes. These people, instead of <laughs> telling you exactly but what they thought, you guys aren't, you guys aren't feeling complain. police. You guys are law enforcement, well, not feelings I'm enforcement. I, I'm, I'm letting you know. I know. I'm I letting know. you know exactly what people thought of your behavior. That's fine. Okay. They can think that all they want. So they complained to the management here. And, if the management, being, and the management has asked you to leave, and you've refused to leave. Let's give me a, a trespass of property. So, yeah. it wasn't the filming, it's the fact that staff and customers I mean, this is this is gold. being filmed by you unwanted. This is gold. Well, I, I will, I'm, I'm so happy to depose them. 
in, in the lead up to this civil lawsuit. I'm more than happy to get them to say that in a deposition. So let's pick, give me a, a trespass okay. to property and then I'll just take it up with the court. Because unless you guys, like you, 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 can't, you can't abridge my civil liberties. Niagara Region Transit Commission doesn't usurp the charter because of feelings. Well, like this, the idea that someone's feelings is, limit my charter rights is, is ridiculous. This is their property. And what if I was standing over there and someone on a bus, like if I was standing be, on that little be, sidewalk there. there. But, the but their feelings are offended. It's the I'm not, but it's the not city of St. Catharines. You're not getting charged with uh, offending people. But the feelings. city of St. Catharines owns that. For failing to leave a premise, section 21B under the trespass property. I know the TPA. But what? So what if? But the city of St. Catharines okay. can make the same claim. If you wanted a ticket, you can give me a ticket. Let's do it. Okay, so, uh, I mean, this video is long, but you heard it. Officer Rob said that uh, I'm being trespassed because of the feelings of other people. The charter doesn't apply, I suppose, in this part of the city of St. Catharines. It's a charter-free zone. Other people being offended means that I don't have the rights under Section 2B of the Canadian Charter. Like, it's just ridiculous. So right now, they're off writing me, um, I'm going to wait. No smoking. So they're going to write me a trespass to property uh, citation right now. I'm going to take it. Uh, I'll deal with it in court. So one of the things that I'm going to do um, when he comes back with the trespass to property citation is I'm going to ask him if because of this trespass to property uh, citation if I am now uh, barred from using the Niagara Transit Commission property uh, being this is a uh, public service uh, public transit is a service that uh, should be opened uh, open to anybody that needs it I'm going to ask them if uh, um, if I'm barred from using this service again not because i was damaging their property i'm being barred not because i'm rising to uh, disorderly conduct i'm not being barred because um i've threatened anyone or i'm threatening i'm being barred from the terminal for filming which is resulting in people's having uh, catching all the feels people are sad that cameras exist so now I'm being denied the right to access a public what I consider is a utility the Transit Commission is a utility so here we go Okay. Okay. Dokey. Two one B of the TPA. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Can you explain the options on the back? Or? No, no, no. I, this is fine. So this is a part one offense, right? It is. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to make it clear um, that uh, because now that I have this, I'm I'm going to leave. I'm not going to be a dick. I'm going to leave now. I mean, you already. Well, I mean, the other woman probably thinks I'm a huge dick, considering what she did and said, but. So now I can't use the transit commission at all. Well, but uh, the bus is all, this is the point, this is where all buses go at some point or another, so right? speaking with the gentleman who you first spoke to, yeah. he said he has no problem with you taking the bus and coming here to get off the I, bus? I have my, my phone, which is a camera, the, the with problem, me all the time. I understand. Yeah. The problem was with the loitering and making- What's loitering? Like sitting here just filming people. You're not here to use the transit system. You're here to film people. How do you think I got here? Okay, I'm just saying. Your purpose is obviously yeah. but, to film. So, okay, that's why you have now, the microphone, that's why you have the stand. 100%, yeah, that's right. Different. I got, a, I got, if your purpose to I got four grand worth of equipment here. From point A to B, they have no problem. 
okay, so I, I'm not going to get, I'm not going to be picked up by you guys if I am seen on a bus. No, $65 ticket. Well, it's going to get tossed anyway, okay. but that's uh, fine. You're not going to get picked up. Yeah. You come here yeah. to take the bus. I don't know. So, uh, but I mean, <laughs> because of some people, pe because, pe because people caught feels, I'm being barred from this facility with the exception of taking a bus to and from it's somewhere. With the exception of using it for the purpose that it's intended to be used for. Yes. This is, this is like, I didn't realize this was a constitution free zone. I honestly okay, had well, no I'm idea. I'm going to get into section two arguments with you. It's, you've got you, you can, you're obviously like, going to go ridiculous. to the yeah. court date. Do you, you were talking about an OIPRD complaint. Do you need any information? Oh, no, no, I've filed many OIPRD no, complaints. My, my name I'm, I'm not going to, you, you're not going to be noted. He's not going to be noted. Okay. It's just, gonna, the just, only was going to be that woman. Now, otherwise, I just might because you guys were here. Um, but yeah, can I just get your call or your yeah, badge it's, number? It's uh, Rob Richardson. Yeah. Badge number is 9293. 9293, just in case I didn't hear it because of the bus. Um, you already gave it to me. Um, what does the A mean? I just I, I noticed that. The A. Acting sergeant. Acting sergeant. That's, why we, that's the reason I'm here. Is no, I know you're so sorry. I didn't realize. That there, I didn't know there was such a thing as acting sergeant. Acting sergeant. I, Okay. When, yeah. when I'm not wearing the A, it means I'm just a constable again. Awesome. Okay, so uh, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get you guys like I'm taking this all the way, right? So sure. I'm gonna sure. see you in there. Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. Obviously, it's not meant to be hostile, right? No, um, but I just I, like they can't they can't do it, right? So we'll we'll get this tossed. Um, anyway, I'm gonna leave now. Um, <laughs> Just to let you guys know, my vehicle has cameras all the way around. Yeah, most, a lot of vehicles do nowadays. Yeah. yeah. So I just don't want to be picked up. You're not. You're not. I mean, the OPP has done this to me. Okay. So it's, it's I, I, I'm not. I don't even mean to The Niagara Regional just, Police. I know. The Niagara Regional Police have never done it. Okay. I'll be clear with that. They've never done it. Yeah. But every time I go to Haldeman County now, okay. OPP picks me up every time. And they just, they, they, they do the papers inspection. They have me sit for 25 minutes cut me loose they don't even give me a ticket they know what they're doing they're just fucking with me so i've never had that here but i don't want it to start right all right see you in court yep i i i, I, I appreciate the fact you're advocating for the you know ne me. next time like you, you have contacts that i don't necessarily have yeah. talk to them about hostile architecture right and it's just not it's not just the city uh, the niagara region transit it's happening all over the city of st Catharines and across the region all over Western society. and now the focus of this project I'm working on isn't to go after private companies that do this because I have less of a say in what they do on their private property. If Walmart or whatever wants to do it, not great, nothing I can do about it, but this place receives a lot of money from us. I'm being told I can't use it. Um, for how long, like, so how long does the TPA last? One month? Well, what if this is upheld? What if what if this is upheld? I don't even know how that works. It's just a fine. Yeah, I know, but so it's it, yeah, yeah, okay, all right, yeah. So it's not that it's an order in effect or something. Okay, it's for something that has already happened in the past. Okay, so it's one month plus. Well, this is gonna get tossed. I don't know if I can get that one month. I'll just wait. I'll wait it out. But yeah, I already have fortunately. Yeah, um, but anyway. I'll take you off. I mean, uh, continue advocating for the homeless. I'm being penalized for doing it. Not great. Not a good look. But remember, we, we you wanted the ticket. We, we didn't want to give you the ticket. No, I, I know. I asked, I'm not I'm not rewriting history. I specifically asked for the ticket. Yeah. Gives me standing. Yeah. But I shouldn't have to be threatened with trespass because I'm covering a story about public funds being used to discriminate against the unwell or unhoused, right? That's not fair. And again, you, I, this gentleman, we don't have to worry about it, right? You're healthy. You're not going to need to necessarily take a nap on a public bench. We're not unhoused, but there's people we need to, we need to use our privilege any way we can. All right. So I'm going to leave in a few minutes. Okay. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, well, first of all, First of all, I work in this building, so I have I have implied right of access. I work for the I work for the ministry, 
so I'm, I'm allowed to access this property all I want. Maybe I can't go in there, but I can access anywhere else in the property. So are you currently working right now? Does it matter? Like, that, that, there's, no, there's no time you're limit. You're saying you have a lawful reason to access this property to access your work. I could. But if you're not working right now, then my, there's no purpose to access the work for a lawful reason. I can access my, work, my office whenever I need to. If I need to pop up there to visit my office to crush out some work, okay. I, I can access. I'm not going to go in there, and I'm not going to go in there. But there's nothing that stops me from accessing the rest of 301 King. You know what I'm saying? This is their property. They ask you this is not property. their property. First of all, they lease it from the province of Ontario. By, by having a lease, that means they have control of the property. I, I, I realize occupiers' liability. Yeah. I recognize so that. They are, but the, they are the occupiers and they are... They occupy the this little area right here and this little strip right here. Everywhere else I can access. Even if I wasn't an MTO employee, I can access the rest of this property like anybody else. I gotta go to Service Can uh, Ontario, yeah, yeah, yeah. I go to Service. I gotta go to ODSP or whatever. I wouldn't because I have a job. Okay. But if I needed to use that, there's also tribunals in here. There's okay. a bunch yeah, of different stuff. Of, so I realize that. I don't, so I, don't understand. The whole I, thing I, I can pop out through that little intersection and linger all I want. Okay. There's no such thing as loitering in the, in the Southern loitering. Ontario. Well, I mean, he, he accused me of loitering. They're asking you to move off this section of property. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. I got everything? 